just started combining the beans, or should I say more accurately, the weeds. I did one pass around this field. I'm not sure if it's going to show up, but 25 foot wide all the way around to the other end. Very, very few beans. Unfortunately, as I suspected, well, I didn't suspect, but the case is these are the weed seeds. You see all these black, basically lamb's quarter and pigweed for the most part. And if they were a little drier, I think they would blow out as they have in the years past. But this year, no, they're collecting in my clean grain auger. So what I ended up doing, here's kind of a sample of what I end up putting in the tank. You know, it's very few soybeans. There's very few soybeans out there, especially in the end rows. But this is like 10 to 1. And then there's these uh, um, nightshade green. And they're going to get juicy. Apparently they can plug up my sieves. So I have to keep an eye on that. But the temporary fix, this is the bottom of the auger. The cross grain auger. There's that auger. And this tray that I just showed you sits under the bottom of that. Deer sells one. It's 500 bucks. It's perforated. I ordered that. It should be here tomorrow morning. Now the grain's cleaner, if that were up and running, if I had the ability to process the grain through that, that would get rid of all these seeds, these little ones. Well, because these are pretty tiny soybeans, they would have fallen through the screens I have. Never mind the bin's not done, the electrician's here today, but they still can't find a weatherproof box for um, my vehicle. Now, a pretty windy out of this. going to be a decent video. But. So all these are going to go back and come back next year. <laughs> cleaning out the combine, basically dumped out the little bit that I did. I'm not going to 